Here's what it looked like round seven from Arlington, Texas. Give you the 450 class here. It was also the pit party. We had beautiful weather outside and some determined veterans like Ken Roxon on the right who won our previous race at Glendale and Eli Tomac trying to bounce back after a subpar based on his standard start to the season and all chasing the rookie Chet Lawrence who has that red number plate because he had retaken the series lead after a podium at our previous race. And then Chet gets the whole shot and the race this year where he's done that, he's won. Well, he does, and a great job by his brother, uh, Hunter Lawrence. Did a, he did exceptional today. He was good all day long. Great to see that. But Cooper Webb, uh, I think he made some crucial mistakes early on, and that that gave an opportunity for Jet to kind of kind of pull out. I think if he could have cleaned it up early on, he would have been well. But this is an uncharacteristic mistake by Eli Tomac. Rarely do you see that. Uh, but I tell you what, that it, it wasn't over. And then watch this. Roxon's trying to get around Vince Freezy. He goes down and collects Malcolm Stewart, Dylan Brandis, and a bunch of others. Saw that collision with uh, Vince Freezy and Ken Roxon and Malcolm Stewart. Keep that in your mind, because uh, you haven't seen the last of that. So Tomac starts a charge, yeah. a comeback. He was 11, and now he's catching Hunter Lawrence for a piece of the top five. Talk about it. This was one of those rides, beast mode. Uh, Aaron Plessinger talked about it. It's like, yeah, that was beast mode. When he, when Eli Tomac is in one of these modes, it, it, you can't stop it. He Just made can. it all the way back to the podium there, making the move on Aaron Plessinger for third. And listen to that crowd here in Texas. They love that. Yeah, going wild. I, and never did I think that they were going to move up. But check this out. The man is leading Jet Lawrence and just gets sideways on the takeoff of that triple, Jason, and, and, and goes sideways. It looks like he lost his balance, maybe, a little bit. Just a quick slip up. But he gets back to Webb. This is the final lap. Battle for the whoops. But watch Freezy up ahead getting lapped. Remember what I said about Vince Freezy and Ken Roxon collision? Same thing there. I think Jet probably should have been looking up a little more, anticipated that, but uh, you live and learn. So that allows Webb to escape with the win. He has been the strongest rider in this stadium many times tonight. Uh, maybe he was the luckiest. Sometimes better be lucky than good. I mean, you talk about uh, Jerry's world. This is uh, Cooper's this, world. Yeah, this is Cooper's world. Six times he has won here since 2019. That is unbelievable. Of course, we did race here three times in 2021 during our residency program during COVID, and he won all three of those. Incredible. And look, Tomac gets up second, Plessinger third. That final crash for wow. Lawrence bumped him back to fourth. Absolutely wild. I mean, you think about, like, Ken Roxon, Eli Tomac. I mean, those guys were way back for them to come back up. And uh, look at Chase Sexton there. He's sixth. He's not far out, not far out of the points lead, and it's just this is just wild, Jason. Yeah, here's the rest of the standings. Dylan Ferrandez, who had been very, very consistent all year long, but yeah. saw him in the pits, I think, with bike problems. He right. Last. Yeah, he pulled yep. off, and it looked like his uh, handlebar mounts had come loose, or something happened there because his handlebars were going back and forth.